What's up everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today we're taking a look at a one-tenth scale Thor statue based on the comic book by Iron Studios. Alright, we're going to start off with the packaging. And as you guys can see, there's a wonderful picture of Thor in the front. It has Marvel Comics in the corner. It says one-tenth scale and it's Iron Studios. Then the side, we got the Iron Studio symbol. Then in the back, we got a nice image of the statue. And then on this side, we got the hammer. So really nice. There's the top, Marvel Comics, Thor. And uh, that's it for the packaging, guys. All right, so first off, we're going to start off with the base. And look at all the nice little details on here. We got the rubble, uh, you know, for the where his feet are going to be. We got the blue, like, uh, air stuff that's going to be around him. Got that awesome trim on the bottom there with all the cool designs. Really cool. I love how they made it look like, like a brass color. Some really nice details. Like Just look at all the markings and stuff on the bottom. Really cool. Like Just look at it, dude. I, I, I love it. They got... It looks like almost like ancient like sculpting. Like You know what I mean? Or something. It's really cool, man. Something you'd almost like see on a castle. So there is the base, and the base is incredible. I mean, it's it's really nicely detailed. Now, I'm going to be completely honest with you guys. I am not very familiar with Thor, but I did see the statue and really thought it was interesting, and I wanted to pick it up. Now, continuing on with the whole not being familiar with him, I'm not fully sure who this is. I believe this is Throg, right? Wasn't that, isn't that the name of this uh, little frog Thor guy? pretty sure that's his name i know nothing about this character so this is like a little add-on piece that uh, attaches into the back but i'm showing you guys because he does come with the statue and he comes separately and he's a uh, pretty cool looking you know i'm definitely kind of liking it but like i said i know absolutely nothing about this but now we're bringing in thor himself the main focus of this piece and man he looks great look at him he's holding the hammer in the left hand Got that really powerful pose, the long blonde hair, the cape is a soft good, it's got like that um that hard uh, wire in it, but it is actually a soft good, and I'm usually not a huge fan of the soft good stuff with the statues, but it actually looks pretty good on him. Look at all the detail on the cloth, on the on the belt, his, his like uh, uh, gloves, his boots, the pants, the stitching marks, everything, look at that man. Look at all the markings. Then you got the writing on the hammer, which is really cool. Look at that, dude. So cool, man. The helmet. All right, let's get him on the actual base so we can see what the final piece looks like. Are you going to be a pain to put in? Or nope. You slid, slid right in. How awesome is that? And there he is. And let me tell you something. He looks absolutely incredible. You know, I mean, like I said, I'm not a huge Thor fan or anything like that, but this statue definitely makes me want to pick up, you know, some of the comic books and actually, like, read it and see what this character is about, because this is the comic Thor, and he just looks so powerful and so imposing. I'm going to zoom in a little so we can get a better look at some of that detail again, and he just looks so cool, man, like, I'm definitely happy with this piece. It's a one-tenth scale Thor. And like I said, I think they knocked it out of the park. I think it looks so good. These one-tenth scales are so, like, it's so nice for guys like me who can't afford the big-time statues. It gives us a chance to get these really nicely done, detailed statues for under 200 bucks. So, really awesome. Really like the look of this. And like I said, this definitely makes me want to pick up a Thor comic book and actually read it and learn more about this character. But all right, guys, I think I've gushed enough over the statue. Like I said, I think it's really cool. It's really awesome. And this is coming from someone who's not a Thor fan. So I actually really enjoy this piece and I can't wait to set it up on my shelf. And, you know, hopefully, uh, speaking of enjoying, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. And if you could, please like, comment, and subscribe. And of course, guys, stay safe out there. I'll catch you on the next one. Later, guys.